Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video, um, I'm going to be doing this Bedini motor that I sell on my site. I've been doing a lot of changes to it and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So this is kind of the evolution of it. Um, this was the first coil. So it has two solid cores in there. This was um, 450 turns of number 20 and 26. And um, those of you that haven't seen this before, I have uh, quite a few videos um, up about it. Um, then from there I went into welding rod cores. So there's 32 welding rod cores in there. These are just the mild steel. And this one was actually for more experiments. This has uh, three wires so you could do an isolated output. Um, this was 450 turns, uh, three number 26's. And then went to this one. This is also three 26's and um, actually put quite a bit, pretty much as much as I could put on there that would mount. So, so has the welding rod and this was almost 800 turns of 326's and then the new one that I'm using today you can see in there it barely fits in there so um, this one is two number 26's so you can see the wires right there two 26's and it's 1300 turns so um, yeah that was a lot of, a lot of wire so just been experimenting with it and thought you guys would like to see the results so um, we're gonna I kind of changed it around from um, this is the pot that I was using before this is just a 1k um, 25 watt pot that works really well for the bigger coils and um, and then I went to now a little 5k pot and instead of a light bulb this is a um, a 2k resistor right there so uh, when the pots on full or lowest resistance you have 2k uh, which is um, pretty high to start with and um, yeah so just a brief overview these are actually neo magnets as much as everyone says that um, ferrite or ceramic are better these seem to work really well um, there are two of them they're double stacked and we have eight of them on there. They're all monopole, so they're the same polarity all the way around. Um, this is the same fan I use on all my videos. It's a 15 inch fan blade. And then this is the most updated circuit. So it has a, uh, an extra port here. So if you use one of these coils, you have isolated output through this full bridge rectifier. Um, but for this motor, there's, um, there's no isolated output. So we're just using the general and we have SG mode and then you could switch it to generator mode so we're going to start off in SG mode and then we have the neon to help protect it and yeah so run battery is a 3.3 so we're sitting at 1296 and then this is the charge battery this is a 12 amp hour 12.45 um, and then um, our input obviously is black and red and then the output um, is my typical white and yellow and then it goes into this little cap um, this is two ten thousands in parallel and then it's triggered at uh, with the 16 volt zinger so it fires it just um, just shy of 17 volts is when it triggers with the neon light and then it discharges that energy in this battery so let's um, fire this up so we're on the lowest on the pot as it goes So with that much wire, it, it starts really easily. You can see the scope. So right now we're on SG mode, and um, this is a pretty big load for that. So with the the lowest we could go because of the 2K resistor, we're running at 50 milliamps. So we're just over a half a watt right now, and then this is our output. So we're dumping one amp every time the um, cap dump goes so right around 17 volts at one amp and it's probably actually a little bit higher but as far as this meter goes that it could react to and um, yeah pretty neat so this is just the basic SG mode you could use it with or without the cap dump but we're going to do now is we're going to switch this to generator mode and um, the motor will slow down a little bit and you could kind of see it fluctuating but the difference is, you know, the cap dump's going twice as fast now. 
So, and right now it's on the highest resistor or the lowest resistor, I say. So we're going to turn this down. You can see right here, we're doing every time the magnet turns on, we're doing four oscillations. So four peaks right here, one, two, three. And as we turn it, we want to turn the resistance up. So we're going to turn this, and we're going to get more. So we're going to go right to right here. So I'll turn this so you can see it better. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five to six on there, even though I bumped that. <laughs> so now this is probably the lowest resistance we or the highest resistance we could go. So we have 2K plus probably about 4K here. So we're running about 6K resistance to the base of the transistor. But, but look at the input now. This is really cool. So we're at about a third of a watt right now. And then that's what our cap thumb's doing. So you guys can count how long it takes. So one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. So it's about three and a half seconds to dump one amp, and we're using twenty five milliamps. Not hard to see, but yeah. So at the highest resistance, that that's running pretty pretty efficient. So yeah. So as we went through the different coils, uh, we're trying to get more efficient in different ways, and uh, yeah, it runs pretty nice. And this is that 15 inch fan blade. So anyway guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to check out my store and thanks for watching.